Well, this isn't the story that I had intended to bring you on today's show. My initial plan was to strap on my hat cam and share another monthly match at the Cascade Ghost Riders range. Something that went kind of like this. I grabbed my 1851 Navy conversions with the four and three quarter inch barrel, my 18 inch barreled 1866, and my SKB 200E, and headed to the range. And Lawbreaker will explain how to shoot the first stage of the morning. Four, four, one, one, sweep. Go to your shotgun, make your rifle safe, knock them down in any order, that's the cylinder. Put your shotgun down, step up it, put a toe in the box. Four, four, one, one, done. Questions? Sounds simple enough. Here I go. Sir, just like that, knock them cylinders down. Got them. Four, four, one, one. Grab your long gun. What do we got? Yeah. Three, four, two, eight. So as you can see, I had a little trouble with one of my revolvers. And honestly, I've had trouble with that revolver for years now. And it's getting progressively worse. But before I go any further on that, let's see how things went on the second stage. Lawbreaker, what do we do here? Rifle in hand, shotgun on wagon, pistols holstered. Say you're ready at the beat. One, four, four, one, sweet. Make the rifle safe. Knock them heavy boys down. Any order, make the shotgun safe. Don't run ahead of this box. Put a toe on the box. Guess what you got? One, four, four, one, sweet. They don't have to be in the same direction as rifle and pistol, but ask you one, four, four, one, sweep. All right, lawbreaker, it's getting warm out here. Stand by. Yes, sir. Feed on them. Down. Got them both. Clear it out of there. Aim at them. You got them. Lord. Got it. I think two on the next. Yeah, no, maybe. Come on now. There it goes. Halfway. All right. Where am I at? Two here? As you can see, that stage went far worse than the first, and I ended up having to declare the gun malfunctioned and headed to the unloading table. So it was pretty obvious that keeping up shooting at this pace would have severely increased my time. In fact, on this stage alone, I ended up 26th place out of 28 shooters. If I kept up using those revolvers, I would likely have found myself in a similar position overall for the match. Unfortunately though, since I shoot black powder, it's pretty rare that I can find someone to borrow guns from to finish a match. It isn't that folks wouldn't ordinarily offer up their guns to help a pard finish a match, it's just that not a lot of folks like to have black powder shot out of their firearms. And normally, I'm very confident in my gear anyway, so I don't carry a backup set with me to a monthly match. Granted, I've had trouble with that particular revolver before, so I rarely shoot it anymore. I have two other sets of 1851s that don't give me this kind of grief, so I typically use one of those sets instead. However, every once in a while I think, maybe it will miraculously be better this time, and so I try a match with this revolver. That won't happen again until this 1851 goes to a qualified gunsmith for repair. I personally can't find what's causing it to hang up, and I've had it apart and back together literally dozens of times. But back to the day at hand. At this point, I've relegated myself to finishing poorly overall, and in my head, I'm already making plans to send this broken revolver to a qualified gunsmith at a later time. 
And while all of this was swirling around in my head, I'm kicking myself for not bringing a backup set of firearms with me. And that's when I noticed my pard Rongo Star, and you all have seen him on the show numerous times, as well as down in the comment section helping out, answering questions from viewers. Anyways, I noticed that he was shooting black powder in his revolvers. Now this isn't something that he does very often, but I saw it as an opportunity to borrow revolvers from someone who obviously wouldn't mind them getting dirty with black powder. Of course, it's no surprise that he was happy to loan his revolvers to me so that I could finish up the match. That's how most folks in this sport are. They're happy to help you out. So Rongo was using a set of Sass Ruger New Vaqueros, and they'd been all slicked up and tuned up and, well, let's take a look at how they ran on the first stage I used them. And remember, I've got to make up for all that lost time on the first couple of stages. Lawbreaker, I'll leave it to you to explain to the viewers how to shoot the stage. Rifle in hand, shotgun stage on wagon. Say you're ready at the beat. Lawrence Welk, the Cowboys. One, two, three, four. Make the rifle safe. Move the pistol back. Lawrence Welk. One, two, three, four. Watch the muzzle. Hold With shotgun, knock him down in any order. Damn, bye. Three up. You got two, two up. up. Got to aim. Up. Look at him. Aim on him. Got him. I got him. You got full pattern on those. Let's go get your long Rubble. Yeah. Pistol work that time. Three one. <laughs> five four. That wasn't clean. That was dirty. <laughs> Three one five four and clean. Clean in a dirty kind of way. Now I've always wanted a set of these Sass Rugers just mainly because they're Sass Rugers and the sport has meant so much to me over the years. But after this stage, I came to the conclusion, I'm getting a pair of these. But before we get carried away spending a bunch of money on Ruger Vaqueros, let's see how I performed with them on the remaining stages that day. Rifle in hand, so you ready at the beat. Two, one, four, one, two, sweet. Make the rifle safe, pick up a shotgun, knock them down in any order. With your pistols, within an arm's reach of this. Fence, two, one, four, one, two. Or vice versa. Questions, legal team, engineering squad. Okay, Lawbreaker, are you ready? Anything okay. else? No, I think I'm good. A restart to the day? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe a. Yeah, gotcha. Maybe a saddle. This side? Wait, yeah, on the right you side, please. This side? <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, Watch it. Yeah, yeah, I want to watch that. Yeah, I got you. All right. Hope we don't get kicked by that mule. Uh, lawbreaker, let's get out of here. Stand by. Yes, sir. Two down. Got him. I'm so buying a pair of these Rugers. Yeah, that's 2589. 2589. Are using Rugers? Yeah, I went and borrowed a pair from Rongo. No, you did. 2589, clean. Oh, I'm so buying you. a pair of these. Are you ready at the beat? Alternate. Starting on the white. Nevada sweet. Alternate on the white to black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't matter how you Nevada. 
Make it safe. Pick up a shotgun. Knock them down. Any order. Make it safe. Run over yonder. Same rule. Arms length. Arms length. This ain't gonna work for you. Arms length. That's what you need to do. White. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, four check. Got it? Get out of there. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yes, sir. Grab your line gun. Three, four, three, three. That shotgun ate up all my time. Where the extra shotgun stuff? Yep. Now it's three, four, three, three. Shotgun is staked here. So if I'm running this away, run my rifle, alternate Nevada sweep starting on the white, run up yonder, put my rifle down, knock them down any order. That gives you a better angle this way. What am I doing here? Two, one, four, one, two. Stand by. Lucky I'm one of those, but you missed that one. 2832. As you can see, I quite enjoyed using these Rugers, and I managed to move myself into seventh place overall with them. So again, a big thank you to my pard Rongo for loaning his Rugers to me. You saved my day today. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I now have a set of my own. I found them new in the box on Gunbroker, and I'm gonna have them tuned up and slicked up and then we'll take them out to the range and shoot them on a future show. Make sure you're subscribed here to Jedi TV so that you don't miss that episode. Also, while I was shopping for these Rugers, I came across another set of revolvers that I've wanted for a long time. And if you follow along on Instagram, at Jedi Gunfighter, then you've already seen these Pieta Great Western revolvers that I had to have. And I'm not going to go into a bunch of detail on these revolvers on today's episode, other than to say again, make sure you're subscribed to find out more about them and see them in action. Of course, if you like this episode, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. It helps the channel and I appreciate it. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time.